And what does this mean? Most of you might not know that the operation of this ministry when we started is completely a prophetic ministry. Sometimes grace of God will fall on some of our daughters and they will go on trance for three days prophesying non-stop until I plead for God to bring them down. So you need to understand that the Pentecostal ministry don't understand this, some part of this move and so they demonize it. And that's why I say to people, it is not the name of your church that will save you. It is Christ. I've heard pastors preach against Catholic church. Can I say to you, if a Catholic church man is born again, he will make heaven. I've seen pastors preach against celestial church. If a celestial man is born again and know Jesus, he will make heaven. God nominated us, but we denominated ourselves. And God can use anybody. Numbers 22, verse 28. I need to give you this before I prophesy today. Numbers 22, verse 28. This is a prophet that can prophesy called Balaam, but yet could not see. And the Bible says, And the Lord opened the mouth of the axe, and she said unto Balaam, that's a female axe. What have I done unto thee that thou smitten me these three times? Put verse 29. And Balaam said unto the axe, Because thou hast mocked me, I will dare, I will dare wear a sword in my hand, for I now I would have killed thee. A prophet is not talking to a woman being, he's talking to an animal. And the animal is prophesying to him and is asking questions. The animal is replying him. Put the next verse. Put the next verse. And the ark said unto Balaam, Am I, am I not dying? Upon which thou hast ridden ever since? I was dying unto this day. I was ever want so unto thee and he said nay verse 31 verse 31 the lord opened the eyes of balaam and he saw the angel of the lord standing in the way and his sword drawn in his hand and he bowed down his head to fall on the ground look at it an animal saved a prophet from dying by prophecy now the prophet's spiritual eye could not even see what the animal saw. Don't make prophet demigod. We know in part and we prophesy in part. And that's why I explained to you yesterday, I said, some people don't understand this and then you see devil entering them unnecessarily. Some things happened for about three months and I want the world to know it. For about three months, I, mean, I was under attack severely by some so-called apostles in court and pastors from Nigeria. They paid some high assassin to kidnap me and waste their life, not my home. It was so bad that they were trailing me. If not for God, it would have been a dangerous history. The wickedness in the body of Christ is terrible. And then it was heavy, thank God for my CSO and so many loved ones were around me. It was bad that one of the nights they, they would have almost succeeded. But God of heaven, who I serve, I mean, destroyed their counsel and made it to be foolish. Hear me, hear me, hear me. I want to put some things straight. God made these people who were behind this thing to use their leg to come down here in search for money. And we recorded everything that they did. And the pastors that were involved in this matter. But because 
I have the fear of God and I don't want the body of Christ to boil. And I know if I start throwing those audio and everything, the whole place will be on fire. And it will look like two men of God are fighting. So we decided to allow it lie low. And I kept quiet. In their confession, they said something very striking. That this a, B, C, D, men of God, apostles everywhere had plotted that if we cannot kill him, what we are going to do, we will bring physical woman being that is dead and bury it here so that people will think that is the source of his power. Now hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. About three weeks ago, I came on Sunday I had a vision, I shared with the CSO, and I talked to the policeman. In the night, about 8 to 9, they actually brought a physical dead body and almost wanted to plant the dead body in the church. But God, through the security and the gallant policemen of Nigeria, averted this error that was supposed to happen. If we are not talking, it's because we don't want the body of Christ to boil. And what is the problem? Jealousy, wickedness, how did Joshua Igila rise here? How manage? They want to take the glory of God and give to the devil. I get worried when pastors see success of God, they call it demon. When they see failure, they call it God. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It didn't stop there. They used my loved ones, my sons, to plant a recording device in my office. Hear me. Recording every activities that was going on. And this is as far as 2015. This is terrible. Strong betrayers. And why they were doing this? I'm just pure. There's nothing I hide. And then they brought out about six audios. Sent it to me two months ago. And four of the audio were actually from my office. Three were cloned. And then they demanded 100 million from me as blackmailers. And I was not moved. You see, I've not said this thing to anybody. I was not moved. And uh, it didn't lose my sleep because everything there, you see, when your hands are clean, you don't need to be restless. So, one among them that were doing the plot, what they did was this. The person who did it here took it, sent it to South Africa. To so one of my wonderful daughter, who we ordain, we blessed, we pray for, who was handling five accounts in this ministry. She stole money more than 60 million. She had breast cancer. I sponsored her with 10 million to China. Such wickedness against me. In order to see whether they can pull me down. Look at the church field. Despite their attacks. A terrible daughter. Sit down please. Sit down please. I'm saying this for you to know. How. So that some men of God should learn. A terrible. This is a daughter. That stole money. Stole money. With some of my sons who stole money or a son who stole money build houses add money because i was trying to put things right they connected to see if they can fall their self down and not joshua Aguila. now watch this watch this this is very terrible wickedness against a man of god you see, when you do things against an innocent man, how will God sleep? How will God fold his hand and watch you? For material things. These people stole money in millions. 
I never arrested them. I left them. I blessed them. I removed my eye. But I broke the way they were using to steal the money. Now, what was it? A prophetic conversation. The lady in question, they were talking. They said, um, Joshua Aguila went somewhere to collect power. He said, daughter in this ministry. I was praying for her in the office and the spirit of prophecy hit her and she started prophesying that was all that is all nothing else and as she started prophesying i got the spirit of god not her engaged in the prophecy that's all it is the way i lay hand on you and a demon is speaking through you and i engage the demon in conversation was the way i engage the holy ghost in conversation that is all the thing never took place anywhere in the church then they sponsored it and sent it to ukraine one man of god that we are praying for that god should restore him back from grace that he has fallen this man of God had fallen from grace, slept with 30, 30 daughters of his church, pregnant 10, and was dismissed and allowed to stay at home out of psychological depression. He attacks Oyedepo Adeboye, uh, he attacks Dr. Paul Eneche, he attacks uh, TV Joshua, he attacks, he attacks everybody that you can know, or Yakilome, he attacks Benihim, he attacks TDJ. He has been attacking me from 2015. I have never responded to him. Because I love him. I have been fasting, praying for that man to be restored. He does not go to church because the church has sat him. So as a result of depression, he's trying to demonize every preacher in Nigeria. Fathers of the gospel. People that represent unity. am i blowing this you can't lie the victory of lie over truth for a moment one of my son misbehaved in south africa stole money build a house in his village we put things right i was trying to post him he changed the church sandboard and we forgive him he came here i gave him three million and a so-called man of god in bini invited him and breathed him five hundred thousand and said say anything against your father so that we can record and talk terrible wicked people so jealous the body of christ is so divided look at me the church is increasing the one in South Africa is increasing. In, in, in Zambia, 10,000 members, 10,000 capas. What are you saying? If the Lord built not the house, the builder that built it, built it in vain. How can you do wickedness like this again? Clone the voice of a man of God. Trying to collect money. People that have sucked under me. Children I have given five cars. Seven cars. Changed their life. Ordinary protocol and usher. Through the help of God. I make my boss of help. This is the pain of most fathers. That is why they find it difficult to raise sons. But me, nobody can stop me. One Judas cannot make me to hate my faithful sons. What is my response? I forgive them. And I leave them to God. But I put it straight. A man of God with a scandalous lifestyle. That is supposed to be praying for God to restore him back. With that candelious lifestyle, he's attacking everybody like a white dog. We have platform, but we are not using because.
because men of God in Nigeria are not responding to you, it doesn't make what you are doing right. Nothing else. This is the altar Joshua Aguila preaches. I have never near any house of native doctor or witch doctor. God brought me from Islam to Christianity and I can't play mediocrity. This is a product. Where were they when Joshua Aguila was living in an uncompleted building? Where were they when I stayed in a house where there's no toilet? Where were they when I was trekking from some water to agility? Where were they that I trekked from, from Tusi Alaji to Puari? Where were they when I started this ministry with 250 Naira? Grace shined on me and favor brought me here. I am a product of favor. You cannot stop what God starts as a man. Give Jesus a clamp of rain. Sit down. The media will get this response. Tweet it, circulate it, and let those who have here hear what the Spirit is saying. When my mother got born again, because she's a Yoruba woman, she became part of this CAC church where Ankpe Wani Ijo Elemi, and I, and to, to encourage her, I went there. And it's called Christ, CRC, Christ Redemption Church in Joss. And the founder is Apostle Ashaolu. That became my inspiration of the Aladras. You see me, I don't criticize any movement. I'm not a doctrinal pastor. I preach Jesus and I won't attack anyone. But don't take the gentility of a lion for granted. Some wicked apostles and, and prophets and pastors who cannot just stand the favor and break through of another person. Fighting with bitterness. Shine your shine, I shine my shine. You know, I said it here. I even gave you the prophecy that there's going to be a persecution that will come. That some of you will doubt. If you have it on the console, just play it before I prophesy. That some of you will even doubt if I'm genuine. They will be shaking. That some of you will even doubt if I'm genuine. Papers, all manner. Some of you will be borrowed by the devil to fight me. You are here. Critics, so high. People talking. Pages of newspaper, all manner of talk about this man. There are some of you here that will not be here for the next glory. And there are some of you here that will be here for the next glory. It's not a cause, but that is what I saw. But I prayed for you. In the midst of it, I will grow too big. That will not be able to manage. Some of you will be offended because of my wealth. I saw people of majesty coming in to meet people of majesty. Stop there. It is and that's all. Shaking. Stop there. That's all. I just need you to. I need you to understand that I, I am I'm not a blind prophet. God woke me up in the night and showed me this thing. I knelt down before my bed and I was crying. I said, God, I don't want this. Maybe another trial. He said, no. It is a means to sweep the chaff out of your miss. I saw their face. When I said, some of you here, I know what I was saying. But because I cannot, as a prophet, begin to disgrace anybody, I kept quiet. This is not a shock to me. But I don't want some gullible South Africans, they got the, they got the tape, and they don't understand what is there in Yoruba. So they were misinterpreted by a so-called son who have placed blessing on, who have come here to share testimony. 
some terrible conspiracy because of jealousy, bitterness, and immaturity. So the reason why I put this thing straight is to help some of you to know. Pray for pastors. The place where there is more division, it is higher than politicians. Look at how they fought Prophet T.B. Joshua. Demonize him and make him look like a demon. And they are coming to me. They can't try it. I will reply them. A man who God have used in this country, who have contributed, I, I don't care what you think about him. I've never spoken to him one-on-one. -on -one. It's only on phone. But the truth of the whole matter is that why should we attack good things in this country? There's wickedness. Wickedness. I am not surprised that the church is under attack in this dispensation because of our sin and wickedness. I rest my case. Give Jesus a clamp of it. Are you blessed?